What's up guys, it's your boy MMA Striker here with a new video today. Now today I'm going to be predicting UFC Fight Night Lewis vs. Olenek. And the card does start in a few hours, so I'm only going to talk about the co-main and main event. So let's start with the main event, Derek Lewis vs. Alexei Olenek. And this this is a fight between two polar opposite styles. We have Derek Lewis who is a counter puncher slash brawler. He's going to try to knock out Olenek coming in. And Olenek's striking is not that good. It's sloppy. He pretty much just throws wild haymakers and overhands to try to set the opponent up and try to catch them off guard to set up the takedowns and the grappling. But he cannot do that against Derek Lewis. If he does that and he's going to leave himself open, all Lewis needs is one shot to put somebody down. But Derek Lewis' takedown defense is not that good. It's been proven in the past against wrestlers. His takedown defense has always been his weakness in his career. So if Olenek can get him to the ground, it's pretty much over. I don't see Lewis getting up. Lewis in his fight versus uh, Belagoy, even though Belagoy had him in like five different submission attempts, but Lewis did get out of it, so credit to him. But I don't see him getting out of any of Alexei Olenek's uh, submission attempts. So my prediction for the fight, I'm going to go with Alexei Olenek by round three submission. I was debating which round I should go with, either two or three, but I'm going to go with round three. I think he's going to gas Derek Lewis out. Make him tired, wear him down, and submit him around the three minute mark of the third round. And for the co main event, Amari Akimedov versus Chris Wyman. Now, this is a very interesting fight. And last night, I was, listen I was listening to the Weasel podcast, and he made a very interesting fact saying that Chris Wyman has been fighting top five middleweights and champions for nine years. Ever since the, Dam the Damian Maya fight, he's been fighting top guys and champions all the way to now. And this is a step down in competition for him, which he needs it because he has taken a lot of damage in his career. And his chin is pretty much gone. And Amari Akhmadov has a lot of power in his hands. He's undefeated since moving up to 185. He has kicks, he has grappling, he has wrestling. He can do it all. So this is no easy fight for Chris Weidman. But my prediction for the fight, I'm going to go with Chris Weidman by a unanimous decision. I think he's going to use his wrestling to win at least two of the three rounds and get, and get the 29-28 decision. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Make sure to comment down below your predictions for the card. And make sure to subscribe and like. Next week, we have a lot of content coming out. We have the UFC 252 prediction video. I have a fight breakdown coming out. And I'm probably going to do a recap to the event today. So stay tuned to that. Hope you all have a great day. I'm out of here.